On the table, it is all about Roblox Series 5 Core Packs. This would be the first wave of figures. We have the Booga Booga Fire Ant. Booga Booga! Ah! Anubis. Looks tough. And Fish Simulator Diver. And finally, Robot 64 Bebo. <laughs> oh, okay. And add in a core pack from Series 4 with the Flame Guard General. <laughs> I would like to start right off with the Booga Booga Fire Ant. <laughs> I see what you did there, Squirrel. Very clever. On the back of the box, Booga Booga Fire Ant. This creepy crawly creature can be found deep underground or seeking out shellies in Soybean's sensational survival game Booga Booga. Also other figures available for Series 5 core packs. There are a few yet to be seen by me. Sunslayer, Toru the Phantom Claw, Dual Droid 5000, and Viva La Vixen. I'd like to find that droid. For now we have four to look at. And we free open this fire ant, hopefully not to be bitten. The Booga Booga Fire Ant outside of the pack. I like how Jazzwares has incorporated other kinds of pieces with these figures over the years. Simple add-on new pieces here and there really make this series go. Lots of accessories with this guy too. We have a crossbow, an axe, and this thing. Looks dangerous. Yes, so does that axe. Virtual item code. We have successfully redeemed a Booga Booga Ant Hat accessory. Where has that been all my life? Hey buddy, you better stick with squirrels! Ant Stampede has a ring to it. Maybe towards the end of this review we'll check out that survival game of Booga Booga. Seems like a good one to wander around in. Let's continue on though with Fish Simulator Diver. On the back of this pack, take a deep dive underwater and learn everything there is to know about aquatic life in Ricky the Fishy's hit game, Fish Simulator. Huh, seems pretty fishy. Oh, that's really bad. Huh? Yeah, you probably shouldn't stand on a shark, Squirrel. Okay, let's find out what's in this box. The diver out of the box. One of the most funnest toys around are diving toys. This guy will probably spend a considerable amount of time by the pool this summer and possibly also by the bathtub. I prefer open natural waters. Yeah, we'll see about that. So this figure is loaded with great accessories. We have a diving helmet hair piece. Kind of funny how the helmet is attached to the hair. Also a tank oxygen regulator thingy on his back and a spear to uh, investigate fish I hope with and flippers. That's what always makes these toys great, are the flippers. Do, 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 do. I like this one a lot, if you can tell. Also, a really nice hammerhead shark accessory. Hammerhead sharks being my favorite kind of sharks. Not only do they look cool, but they help you repair things. What do we got for the virtual item code? We have redeemed a tropical fishbowl hat. How very fish simulator appropriate. By the way, say fish simulator real fast, really tricky. Fish simulator, fish simulator, fish simulator. Oh, I'm getting better at it. Good figure to look for. Now we can take a look at Robot 64 Bebo. So Landry, are you standing on the bow of B or do you have body odor? Both, I'm a squirrel. That's for sure. On the back of the box, Robot 64 Bebo. The hero of Z Kevin's smash hit platforming game Robot 64. He's on a mission to defeat the sun before it destroys everything in the world. Darn that pesky sun. Well, opening up. Bebo out of the box. Again, another nice out of the box design for Roblox toys, a little different than normal. Mainly on that giant headpiece. And that torso looks different too. Maybe legs are short. And arms. Good style on this one. This is a good example of the core packs containing a lot more than the standard mystery boxes. Bebo with multiple accessories. We have a skateboard. Careful, careful! We have an ice cream cone. And we have an up jetpack. Pretty fun and lively character, although pretty tricky game on desktop. I'm gonna have to try it on my Xbox with better controls. By the way, what's the deal with these arms? Are they articulated? 
Not really, they're kind of rubbery and they don't rotate, but they do hold on to things. What do we have for our virtual item code? I'm guessing Bebo antenna, what are you thinking? Aha, uh -huh, even better, Bebo's jetpack. That would be a nice piece for any Roblox character. Alrighty, squirrel. They just don't make robots fast enough to counter squirrels yet. And for the last current Series 5 available core pack, we have Anubis. I found all of these over at Walmart, by the way, on an end cap display. On the back of the box, Anubis, once feared throughout all of Egypt, he crosses the sands to bring judgment upon all those who have raided the pharaoh's tombs. <laughs> Not as scary as the Scorpion King, though. <laughs> <laughs> Any Anubis toy is always worth opening though. Let's unbox. Wow, pretty impressive detailed figure even for Roblox. What a cool looking pup. I don't believe this is tied to any one game. I typed in Anubis on the game search and there's several different Egypt games options. None of them very popular. Unless I'm missing something. Am I missing something? So it could just be a character avatar skin you could build up on yourself. Lots of great pieces with this though, what do we have? Glorious Anubis Warrior Staff with wings, jewel in the center, very nice. Huh, wings on the bottom too. Then we have the classic Egyptian moon-shaped sword. What's the name of this sword again? I can't remember. Very intimidating. And what do we have? Anything else? I was wondering if this would be a helmet face or not, and it looks like it's coming off. We have a very creepy dog face underneath on a regular Roblox head. That's a nice surprise. As for anything else, looks like we have possibly a belt accessory going around. If I were to remove his waist piece, we'd have a belt. Other than that, everything seems to be stuck on the arms and the legs. Very, very fancy figure though. One to for surely look for. Whoops, almost lost his code there. Let's go look it up. And we have successfully redeemed a Nubis U hat. How very clever, what a burn that is. I actually could wear that in several games. So that is a Nubis, also a very fine Series 5 core pack figure to look for. I figured we'd have some extra time to check out the Flame Guard General from the core packs of Series 4. One of my failures of 2018 was not getting to the core packs of Series 4. Can't remember if this was in the first or second waves of them, but I thought this guy was pretty neat. And look, another crossbow. Fire Ant, you lost yours already. On the back of the box? Flame Guard General. Possessing an immense fighting spirit and tremendous strength, his blazing sword has been known to lay waste to entire armies. And we open up the Flame Guard General. And Flame Guard General out of the box. What game would this guy be from? Is he also just an avatar skin or does he have something to connect with? I mean, just looking at the guy reminds me of, he's probably laying waste to me several times. I like that translucent fire sword weapon he has. That's pretty impressive, you can see right through it, has that fire effect look, very nice. Oh, sorry dude, you lost an arm. Ah! What else you got, by the way? I like how the crossbow only fits on this side of the arm, that helped me figure out which side had the crossbow, which side had the sword. And for the hat, helmet, we can remove. Pretty cool orangish head there, kind of a yellow orangish. He looks almost like he's red. He has a little red in there, like he's very, very angry. Flaming shoulder pads. Tremendous looking warrior. What do we got for a virtual item code? A flame mantle is what we have found that might work well with the fire ant headpiece. So a great series four core pack figure to discover. How about we now wander around a bit in one of the games? Really want to check out this Booga Booga fire ant more. Maybe we can find one in the wild. Where am I? It's so cold up here. I gotta go find a tree. Oh, here we go. I'll just jump over this fence. Oh. Oh no! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! Eee! The spinning! The spinning! Oh, there's my tree! Oh, a bell ringer! Oh, I can't see! Oh, my tree! Oh! Oh dear. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Yikes. Okay, here we are in the world of Booga Booga. Let's kind of walk around a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use my Landry Squirrel skin. Uh, you get a pre-made skin with this series. Looks like I've spawned on an island. 
So, kind of like many of these types of games, looks like it's resource gathering. Here's a tree. I'll work on that for a second. Looks like I can just keep chopping away. And then once it's down, we can harvest what we have. Can I get this block right here? Oh yeah, driftwood. Okay, harvest, harvest. Well, I could also really use a pickaxe, so let's make one of those really quick and let's do this stone thing. Oops, not with my rock, with my pickaxe, there we go. Hey, now we got some rock, good deal. Anyway, that's kind of how you kind of mine around with all the things to find. Well, let's try to make one more raft. Raft. Craft. Oh, okay. There it is. Woohoo! We made a raft. I haven't used a raft yet before. How do I get on this thing? Alright. And now we can start to float around. We've got to find one of these fire ants, or at least one of these ant people somewhere around here. So, I'm going to do some traveling. Wait, how do you work this boat? This boat is not working. It just goes straight. There we go. Okay. These rafts move really slow. So let's take a sea voyage and see if we can find an ant. Person, man, thing. There's got to be one around here somewhere. This is a really visually pretty uh, water terrain going, especially for Roblox. Somewhere over here, you'll probably run into different tribes. You can start building yourself a little hut and a house. All those exciting things. Where would the ant people be? There's a chicken. I feel like the other day I saw some ant people around this area. Let's find one. There they are. Now these aren't fire ants. These look to be just regular worker ants, but we found some. Let's go check them out, see what they're doing. I saw these guys yesterday, so it looks like this map is pretty much the same for being pretty new to this game. I'm only a level 4. It's kind of fun, though. Alright. How do I get out of here? How do I get off my boat? Where's my guy? There he is. There we go. See, there's an ant guy. Yay, we found one! Woo! And they are busy. They are working on stuff. They go and they collect resources, and then they take them back over here to their ant hole. Right over here. Is this the most exciting thing you've ever seen from me? I think it is. And he drops it in, and then the next guy goes. He's like, okay, I've got a job to do. Oh, he dropped a snail in. He's resource gathered a snail. And now they're off to their next job. So those are the worker ants, I guess. I'm not sure their exact name. I believe the fire ants, there are caves in this game, and I've gone through a few, but I've never seen one. But you can go into caves and, um, that sound. You can go into caves and find things like maybe fire ants. Uh, one thing you also got to do is make sure to eat in this game. Eat. So maybe I should build something. Maybe I should join someone's tribe real quick before we finish. Um, yesterday I had a little area over here I was hanging out I believe. Although there wasn't two. It's another colony of ants. They're just kind of sitting there. That's great and awkward. And let's see animals over there. Let's go over to that island. I feel good about that island better than this island. I'm just gonna kind of walk and I'll build a little house to finish up. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna build just a small little house right on this island. It looks like someone has already kind of constructed some sort of ice wall. So it might already be kind of claimed, but I don't care. I'll build a quick little house for you guys and then we'll call it good. We saw the ant people and that was my goal. There it is. Raft. I wonder how you rotate it. There's my hut. And then you can start building your house. Ah, invited. someone has invited me to the Blue Tribe. Sure, I'll join the Blue Tribe. So now I'm part of the Blue Tribe and we work together. We build a little house and all that fun stuff. But that is the game of Booga Booga. Kind of funny, kind of funny to see those ants. They were really silly. This world is, is quite amazing. Um, quite visually amazing to look around all the different islands 
Looks like there's tropical and snow and lots of trees to mine, lots of rocks. So it's kind of one of those games. So that was fun to check out. All right, let's do one more jump, why not? Here we go. And jump away! Hey, we got a jumping friend, woo! Oh, ow! Oh, oh boy! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, I got a clear, oh no! Oh, 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 that's a bell ringer. Oh, I didn't make it over to the next jump. <laughs> but great fall, pretty good. And there's what we saw today, the Series 5 Core Packs plus one Series 4. All four of these packs turned out real nice. You'll have to take a look for them. And take a bite of their ice cream. Ah, oh, it's worth it. Roblox Series 5 Core Packs arrive on store shelves February 2019. They run approximately $6.99 per pack and are quite a bit of fun. A fun group of diverse characters with lots of accessories to play with and they might possibly match your favorite game. The Fire Ant is pretty amazing, but keep an eye out, it may try to bite you. That's what I have to say about that. You should probably look out before jumping over a fence. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe.